five s it's it's been a while but uh, i have been working on how to make self driving uh, how i have been working on um different ways to make my model uh able to drive a car on the road uh, a very simple task uh you think i have tried reinforcement supervised and so i have yet to try it on supervised learning if there is some way to uh make it but okay so for i want to catch up i am trying to I, i'm trying to make a model that can predict a correct steering angle and uh, that's it that's pretty much it and i have been feeling but reinforcement learning not sure if it's the issue with my algorithm or i'm not giving the algorithm a lot of time to run but there is something wrong okay so we have to uh, set that second thing i have been working now on super is learning had some great results uh what i want to tell you is there is a good data set on the internet that i think no one is paying attention to so let me uh introduce you to that data set on kegel it's for super is learning so what it basically has is uh images and as an output it has labels so so i will call uh, yeah Mm. Mm. Where is it? 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 Call us a number. That is not this one. No. Just search Carla and steer. Okay. Yeah, this one. Eight thousand images. It is six point five thousand images, and a text file with steering wheel values. So, your pretty standard data set for supervised learning. Nothing much to look at here. Okay, it's pretty much just images, and it, this guy also gives you a model. So, if like a lot of people ask, so this, what this data set does is actually you have steering images. and you have steering samples okay and uh, you have steering angles and what i'm trying to do here is what my idea was uh i'll feed in the images i'll normalize them flatten them you know basic pre processing send them to the my neural network um it has few convolution layers and a uh, few fully connected layers and just connect them and uh, get a output and check if its output is at least closer to what the predicted output should be and <clears throat> i was able to get like an 85 to 90 percent accuracy not an accuracy like I, how do you think accurate loss loss you would say like loss was pretty low in my case so like accuracy accuracy for the console okay, so i was able to get like pretty close uh, pretty less loss here uh, i mean even how how do you even come calculate loss then you have values in uh, 0 to 1 uh my solution was like why not multiply the values with 100 and now you have a steering angle that should be 30 but it's 25 or 40 and that way when you get that loss it's you get a substantial number like 35 25 you get number right so my idea was to like increase the values and then see how close it is to the loss and that that was what i went with and uh, that was my model it was inspired from an videos model in which you know like they did pretty much the same thing but uh, different series i had like um uh, 85000 images and they had like a days not day, days worth of data like crazy i don't have the processing power need the storage to do that so that's not possible for me but yeah for company like nvidia they can actually do that they can pull that all i cannot but again if you want like just have the model has a model has a link i'll try and see if i can if i remember i'll put it in the description or just stop it here just like me uh, okay enough 
chit chat let's get to the meat of the video the model okay what's the model what's the model architecture look like sir right okay so i pretty much do the same thing don't look at this code this is the code uh i don't think this is the code either mm see where where is the code <laughs> we have like 80000 images here labels ah yeah, this is the code of okay uh okay so what i do is pretty much like uh, this is my path to string angle string angle file this is the path of the folder the folder uh, the picture are serialized uh, uh, and correspond to their string angle in the row wise so row one images one okay so i get the folder and start appending the images i convert them into a cv2 format so i um, so i'm to cv2 i'm going to read images and Incre increment the index and after 80000 i break it i know it's 86.5000 i was only using 80000 but there is a catch here <clears throat> the images that we have are have a very strong bias uh, what i mean by that is uh, the images tend to look like this i mean they are normally the string angle are normally distributed with most of the data lie between this 0. Point minus minus 0.22 0.2 so if a model has to learn from this sample set you can expect what results you will get and i was getting similar thing so let me first just introduce you to the models architecture it's kind of similar i know you will like yeah it's pretty much same to the the one that media has but yeah mine's missing like that uh, except for the image format is 110 to 220 if you want to how to get that i get the image format in 486 40 and then i trim it down to this so this i did a little bit processing what i did this does it what i did was what i did was i thought i hope that's the correct to say is what i did uh, i uh, crop the image to only focus on the road so exclude the weather exclude the building from your image when you're processing it i did the same with the training set so if you go in training images you will get a uh it will it will never open i should never open this folder okay. so it look like this but what i really want is this part i don't want to look at the surroundings they they have a lot of noise they make uh they make learning really difficult you don't want that you only want to focus on the road it's it's much better to just it's much better to just focus on the road that's uh one of the thing that i have learned while doing this okay so here is a bit of architecture few convolution layer a flatten layer and dense layer <coughs> this is the learning la learning and this is the learning i went with um i did model as pretty basic stuff and then save the model angle so um no where is it forget it's it has to be somewhere i don't know where it is right now I must have moved it to the folder where I was testing the model. Yeah, I think that's where it is. But okay, okay I'm I'm digressing. Uh, so if you crop the image, you focus on the uh, the part where the road is. I think. And second thing is this this particular section. I focus on like I focus like on the normal distribution, the small part, heavily densed. this small range the the distribution where the on the on the edges very few samples so if the model has to learn how to take you know a left turn or a right turn what can you expect from the model what can you expect a model will perform poorly that's what i have experienced and even after like a few iteration and um, there's something you can do like you can uh, replicate the images in a way like suppose i'm taking a left turn i have a sample okay but if i flip the image no that particular uh, frame by frame by frame by frame when i'm taking a left turn and if i reverse the image and uh, if i flip the image and i change the string angle from suppose 
minus 0 0.3 to 0 0.3 and it, initially I was doing a left turn now I'm taking a right turn that's pretty much the same thing right so by doing that I will be able to double the data set right double the images and labels I, I have found this trick on internet so I'm not gonna be like this was my idea this was some other guy's idea and that make much more sense like you just flip the image and change the ground you can increase your data set that's that also what I did and uh, after that I pretty much just run a text te uh, test algorithm so let me just if I can find my folder there are lots of folder right now okay, 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 okay. where it is where it is where it is it has to be a window name folder I know no window folder yeah window no editor folder okay if I can find now the test script that would be cool Python API examples has to be somewhere okay this is the model mm, I know I will find it same I, I paste it here you know otherwise I have to pass the whole path when I'm building the model it doesn't make sense okay so that's what I'm gonna buy. I think this was the script I'll know if I can just like oh, 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 if I can get the image size here if I'm cropping the image I know uh, it feel like this was the model because uh, I'm getting 220 20 images I must be copying it somewhere yeah here I'm copying the image so the middle to lower part and uh, these were the camera configuration if anyone want to copy uh, I just want you to go with your own on on way of doing it so uh, I was just initially it's basically set up well uh, you know what I will just uh, copy this code and paste it in the github you can just try yourself and one more thing that I did was uh, I have the steering angle but to do with the acceleration the steer the throttle right so I just uh, wrote a small script it's not good I just have a, like a bar where I'm a threshold and not going over 12 km per hour small speed but uh, I have seen that if I speed up the model will perform poorly if I have small lower speed I around 15 12 is uh, this lower number I was just uh, making a presentation so I lower it to 12 I didn't want to make like any <coughs> uh, any mishaps because there's always a chance here <coughs> it's actually <coughs> it's actually a pretty good chance your code will <laughs> your code will do something funny during a presentation it the probability is actually really high it's mm, not what you think in my case it's close to 99 so well I went to safe side and then the model did good I was able to present it on the screen so do that and <laughs> I'll get a photo now so I uh, hope the video was helpful thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one bye